I love cooking foods from other countries. Caribbean food and Thai food and Mexican food and Indian food. All these different dishes that come from these different countries are so wonderful. Taste good, look good, smell good. And on the show, we are actually doing foods from India. And the program is entitled Indian Cuisine. Stay by. Welcome to Abundant Living. Welcome. We love this show, 3ABN, and we love cooking. That's right. And, and also, they may not even know who we are. Oh, of course you know who we are. For I'm those who are watching for the first time. Akins, and this is my husband, Curtis Akins. Yes. With a co-host. Of Abundant Living. Of Abundant Living. And um, we love it. And this is... Indian cuisine. Indian cuisine. And now we go to restaurants. Uh, we go to in restaurants. And we love to go to Indian restaurants. Absolutely, absolutely. And and not only that, um, we do a lot of traveling. And then in traveling, a lot of the recipes that I get are developed mm -hmm. from some of the other countries and stuff that we actually uh, travel to. Yes. And you know, if we go to somewhere and they actually have their recipes, uh, they'll say something about, I want to try to convert them a little bit, change them up a little bit. And so that gives me an opportunity to get a hold of their cookbook. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes they tell me to take the book home and see if we can take away some of the things, you know, maybe so much of the cholesterol or so much of the saturated fat, you know, or the, the white products or whatever. But, you know, believe it or not, mm -hmm. a lot of other countries actually have very good diets with lots of fruits and a lot of veggies as well. Yeah, and we, so, we here in America, we have a standard American diet or sad. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but again, uh, the Indian cuisine has, uh, has a good diet overall, I would say. Yeah. And of course, it's gonna be a meatless uh, diet. So uh, that's Absolutely. what Abundant Living and 3ABN is all about. Yes, 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 yes. Cholesterol yes, yes. free. Cholesterol free, no eggs at all. Yeah, so you No see, meat at all. Nothing that comes from an animal or has a face or a mother. My daughter made that comment the other day when I was talking to her. She said, Mama, does it have a face? And I said, no. Does it, it have a mother? Does it have a mother? No, it doesn't. That just means that, you know, if it has a face or a mother, we should not be messing with it. Yeah. It's not the best article of food. Well, let's go to the recipe. All right. Mm -hmm. Curry, potato turnovers. It calls for one cup of whole wheat flour, or one cup of whole wheat pastry flour, or one teaspoon of sea salt, one third cup of soy margarine, one half cup of water, two tablespoons of olive oil, one cup of potatoes chopped, one cup of carrots chopped, one half cup of onions chopped, two garlic cloves chopped, one half cup of water, and one tablespoon of McKay's chicken style seasoning, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, and soy milk to glaze. Now, okay. you already know it's quite a bit of spices it and sure stuff is, in this particular sure recipe. Is. And of course, in order to even mm -hmm. get this ready, we got to first start on our actual crust itself, all right? So what you're going to do, gonna crust, do huh? is, yes, okay. your favorite, that's why I say your favorite thing. Oh, my favorite thing. Your favorite thing. So why don't you go ahead, we got the, the, uh, um, the whole wheat flour and whole wheat pastry flour together there. Okay, let's put both of these uh -huh, in here. Put them in there together. We're going to go ahead on and add oh. in the salt. You mentioned about McKay's chicken style seasoning. Let's talk about that for those who may not be aware of that. McKay's chicken style seasoning is actually just a seasoning that uh, mimics that of a regular chicken broth or a chicken cube that you would use when you're doing um, some type of a soup base, but there's no animal at all, no okay. animal so uh, no ingredients, chicken. no chicken. And you have a beef style seasoning Yes. and no beef. No beef, okay. all right. Now you're gonna go ahead and put your margarine in, Curtis. Uh. And we know, of course, we're gonna just crumble that on up until we get that texture of cornmeal. Okay. And it's always better if the, if the uh, margarine, of course, is cold. No, just take your fork and go up and down, and otherwise you're gonna, it's not gonna mash together. Okay, yeah, do just, it now? Oh. Just, just do like that. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought that's make, what I was doing, huh? No, you kind of stirring for oh, a while stirring there. stirring a little bit, okay. Yeah. And usually if the margarine is, is colder, mm -hmm. it actually crumbles up just like cornmeal. As you can see, it's actually doing now. Mm, okay. Okay. 
And then what you're going to do, see that's kind of like what we want. Okay. Okay, why don't you go ahead and pour that water in slowly for me there. Should we add in the water. This is a half a cup of water here. Okay. And we're going to make a soft crust. I'll let you. So this is going to be a turnover. The ingredients going to be inside this. This is going to, yeah, the, the ingredients is going to go inside of that, okay? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tad bit more of the water. When you use that whole wheat flour and you use the pastry flour, you might have to put just a little bit more, just a little bit more water in there. A little bit more there. Okay? I'll let you All do right. it, baby. Now, once we get this going, and be, we're going to see it's making up its own thing there. Mm -hmm. And what we've done, Curtis, is save time once again we have gotten our dough <laughs> oh <shoot. laughs> three bean kitchen come on down can you, you got it going on baby <laughs> now i'm going to move this over to the side because what i want you to do as a matter of fact let's take this go ahead so on we it. just we fast forward about we're going to fast forward minutes. i'm going to give you a knife and you can go ahead on and start chopping the onion up and i want to go ahead and start rolling out the dough so they can see this dough Okay. All right. And the reason why is that this dough actually has to sit for at least 30 minutes chilling. Okay. And 30 minutes is almost equal to the amount of time that we actually have. Okay. Okay. All righty. This is the last time we've been to a, a Indian restaurant, honey. It's been a while. Uh -oh. I know this one in Huntsville. We, we frequent when, quite often. When my wife goes to the restaurant. Uh, she gets her pencil and pad out and try to guess what's the ingredients in the meal. <laughs> Don't tell all my secrets. Okay, that's just one of them. Now, believe it or not, this recipe is going to be four. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to make four turnovers, so I usually just cut it in half first, and then I cut it across again. So okay. I want four pieces, okay? And then each one of these pieces is going to make its own turnover. Huh? Turnover. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm going to take and roll this, get this rolled out in a minute. I want you to get your fire going because now we're going to fix the inside, okay? And you're going to you have oil right there. We're going to put the oil in. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to, once what was going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and have you put that inside and saute those onions for me. Here's your spatula. Start sauteing onions? Yep, and I'm going to go ahead on and start making up the actual uh, pockets themselves. Just roll it out. Then let it... Want the onions to be translucent? Yes, please. Picking up these kitchen terms, honey. You're picking them up? Picking them up? Translucent. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes. Flour going on here. Okay, now this is in your cookbook. Uh, this is in our supplemental book. This is a new one. Okay, so let's talk about that because the supplemental recipe book actually is the uh, addition to Global. We've done that Global one before. We've added recipes to it. I'm just going to sit that over there. I'm going to back up a little bit because the tears are about, about to flow a little bit. Is that bit. right? Yes. Okay, mm. back up a little bit. We'll back up a And I'm going to tell you what, just t yeah, turn that down. We're going to keep that going. So you're going to do all four? I'm just going to do one so you can, add, well, I'll do two of them so you can see what's going on. All right. All right, you want to make a round circle because you're going to fill it up. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead on this start with the spices. I got that oh, garlic okay. going on. And this in is there. the garlic. And then these are your spices. We got cumin, uh, turmeric, coriander, and McKay's chicken style seasoning. It's going to really be smelling okay. good, smelling good, smelling good. That's garlic and got the turmeric and chicken style seasoning and cumin going in. Mmm. That smell good? Mm-hmm. All right. And it's time for the carrots too, now, or what? What's going to happen is this sautés for a little while, and the the uh, onions are actually going to get a little more of a caramel color, okay? 
And then we're going to go ahead and put in the potatoes and also the carrots. And mm -hmm. I've already steamed those. Yes, I've already mm -hmm. steamed them. So they're ready to go. You smell that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? It's lovely. All right. All right. It is kicking. It's kicking. It's kicking. I'm going to stir that up real good, I'm saute the that, a turn bit. the fire up a little bit, move all the stuff out your way. All right. Okay. Now, normally what happens is once we finish cooking that, we let it sit on the side because it really does have to cool before you put it inside of the um, the uh, crust itself. Okay. Otherwise to make the it'll pocket. cook the crust. It'll cook. That's right. Okay. Cook, okay. So we'll, we'll saute that. And then, let me just go ahead on okay. and turn it a little bit more here around the edges. Now, can you put any type of um, meat? Absolutely. I mean, vegetarian you can, meat yes, in here. Yes, to, yeah. You can really play with this yeah. I mean, quite a bit. As a matter of fact, and you can turn it off right Go ahead and turn it off. Okay. As a matter of fact, around the holiday time, when I'm making these up, I will mm. make them up. Mm -hmm. And you can actually make them up and put the, some, and I'll show that to you also, but you can actually put, you're filling on the inside. Okay. Put your other top on top of it. Mm -hmm. Take a fork and then go all the way around it, okay? And make a nice okay. pocket, all, all right? right. Okay. Or the uh, other way we're going to do it, which even though it has not cooled yet, we're going to just take out a little bit. So now you're assuming that it has cooled. Yes. And we're just going to go ahead and... Just put a little bit inside. Yes. And then we're going to just fold it up. Very good, baby. And what you can do is take your fork. Can I do one of those? Yeah. What's that? You call that crimp it or something? Well, it's kind of the, the, the uh, fork kind of helps to keep it together there. Yeah. So when it bakes in the oven, if you give me that tray over there, give me that tray. See if it's it up. Okay. All righty. Let me just put this right here. And you can't put a lot in there now, Curtis, okay? Okay. Because you won't be able to do your thing. Want me to do this? Yeah. Okay, you need to back up a little bit, baby, okay? This may be dangerous, all right? I know. Okay. That's enough, too. More than enough. More than enough. Okay. You still got to be able to close it. Okay. Now, you, I want you to take notes, okay, baby? You taking notes on this? Go ahead, Mr. Akins. Okay, Sister Akins. And, uh... I hope the camera's getting close up with this because this is a very critical mood right here. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to be funny, baby. Okay, I want to. I'm going to take the fork. <laughs> okay, I'm going to crimp it. What? What is so funny? Even What's the camera funny crew is laughing. Is that the whole? <laughs> that there's holes up there, honey, and when that goes. Okay, okay. it's closed now. Okay, there you go. Mine's look prettier. What about the same? There you go. <laughs> and um. Yeah, that's... <laughs> well... Okay, the way you're laughing, I don't know. Okay, you have to talk to me after well, the show. I, I just want you to know... Maybe we need to take a break. I, and... <laughs> I want you to know that at the end of the show, I'm going to show you curses on uh, what happened as a result of that. Um, Maybe pick out which one is mine when it's finished baking. <laughs> but it bakes in the oven. Uh, it has a temperature of about 400 degrees. It'll bake in the oven, and it'll get nice and golden brown. Now, one of the things you can do is just take uh, your brush and a little bit of the soy milk. Uh, we have here, and you're just going to brush it across the top, okay? Brush it across oh, okay. the top. okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll look at the next recipe. Okay. Would you like to learn more about preparing healthful vegetarian dishes? If so, then you want to be sure to order our free Abundant Living resource sheet. It contains useful information about products and cookbooks that will help you to learn more about this natural way of cooking. Along with your order, we would also like to include a free copy of the booklet, The Natural Way to Keep in Shape. This 20-page booklet is filled with tips that will help you to develop a total lifestyle approach to health. To receive both the Abundant Living Resource Sheet and The Natural Way to Keep in Shape, call us at 800-752-3226 during regular business hours. Call and ask for this special offer today. Now, this next recipe is a real good one. It's actually a soup. Oh, a soup. It's called Indian carrot soup. Mm. Let's look at the Sounds ingredients. Sounds interesting. It calls for one medium onion chopped, one tablespoon of fresh ginger minced, 
one teaspoon of olive oil, one and one half teaspoon of curry powder, or one half teaspoon of ground cumin, three cups of water, two tablespoons of chicken style seasoning, one pound carrots peeled and steamed, one tablespoon of fructose, one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of fresh lime juice, and three tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Now this also has at the end one fourth cup of soy sour cream and we're going to be using that vegetable cooking spray. Now okay. I know somebody said that's a lot of ingredients and it is but this mm -hmm. is what makes the, the soup so good. So All right, good. You're going to start off first we're going to so, get those um, onions. I'll help you get that started while you get that oil going. Yeah, okay. I'm going to chop those onions up and put those in that skillet once again. Go ahead and right, get the get oil started. Oil going here. Mm -hmm. You smell that nice smell. You smell that ginger there. Anytime you cook with onions and cumin and, <laughs> and ginger. And ginger. And Curtis, ginger is also a wonderful medicinal herb. Yes, it is. We can talk a lot about ginger. For arthritis, pain, get some ginger tea and put a washcloth in it. Let it soak. Put it right there on your knee and you're very good for that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Helps soothe the upset stomach. And, and good for upset tummies. Yes. Good for upset tummies. That's indeed it. Yes, it does. All right, you're going to go ahead and put in that ginger also. There is ginger. ginger going fresh in. Fresh ginger, fresh ginger. And I need something uh, smaller. How about a spatula? There you go. Okay. We're going to stir that around a little bit there. Okay. And you can that smells moving around, Ooh, yeah. moving around. Turn it down oh, some, honey. You got it too high. I got a whiff of it. <laughs> So I got a whiff, a whiff of it. There you go. All right. I'm going to salt it out a little bit. It actually turns translucent. The translucent. onions are soft there. You don't want to overburn. Remember, you don't want to burn that garlic too much. You want to make sure that you keep that fire down low. You smell that ginger? Oh, yes, I do. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I'm going to begin to add in the other spices that's going to go with this, all right? And that's going to be the uh, chicken style seasoning. That's going to be the cumin. That's going to be the... Uh, <laughs> the cayenne, all those are going in right now. And to keep you from getting yourself all worked just up. Just so that you can't, you know, yeah, stir it around a little bit there. And then guess what? We're going to end all that by putting in one and one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. so fan that out there so the mercy. camera crew can smell that. Smell the whole place. Up. They're having a rough time, baby. Yes, indeed. Now yes, I'm going indeed. to slowly, slowly stir slowly. in one and a half cup of water. Okay. That calmed it down, didn't it? Yes, it did. All right. It calmed me down, too. <laughs> I turn up the fire a little bit, Turn honey? up a little bit. Turn up a little bit. Now, if you've noticed that I have water also, but my water is a kind of an orangish color, and that's because when we actually steam those carrots, we actually have uh, in there the liquid base from the carriage itself. So rather okay. than throw that out, we kept that water because we're going to need another cup and a half of that water also as we finish making the soup up. So what we're going to do here is, Curtis, that you're going to let it, let it sit for a while, honey. Let it's going to actually we let it come to a boil. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up the food processor, and we're going to begin to add in those carrots. We already got the carrots steamed and steamed ready to and go. Steamed and ready to go. Okay. I'm going to move a little bit processor. closer. It's going to go into the food processor. This is the heavy duty kitchen aid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, this is the kind of food presser, here, here, processor here. I like. Okay. Okay. Got the carrots. And these going what in. about a pound, you yes, say? Yes. All right. And we're gonna save that pot because we're gonna need to use it, okay? Okay. All right. We'll move that around a little bit. Aren't they pretty? I love mm -hmm. carrots. I love yes. carrots. They smell good also. I'm gonna put that on top. And we're gonna turn it off. Oh, that was fast. Pretty. No, it's smooth. not ready yet. No, it's oh. got to get smooth. Spoke too soon. Okay, let's put it back on again. Now, we're going to go ahead on and slowly pour in that mixture. Pour this in there? there? Yes. Oh, okay. slowly, uh, slowly. Very a slowly. Just a little bit, honey. Just a little okay, bit? Okay, yes. 
Why, why are you backing Gordon. up, baby? I don't know. I don't, sometimes I don't know about you. Well, you don't trust me? Maybe not. Very slowly. Very slowly. I'm watching out for your apron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. All righty. Very good. Ooh, you smell that? You smell that, Curtis? Yes, I do, baby. Okay, I'm going to put it on a pulse this time. Indian carob soup. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish mm, you could smell yes. this. I wish you could smell I think this. the garlic is oozing out. The garlic and that ginger the is ginger, doing its thing, yes, too. It is. And for the last part, it's one more time. We're going to spend once more. You still got some get, seasoning. That's, that's going to go. That's, oh. that's all that's a part of the next okay. part we're going to do. Okay, this right. is the last time. The pot ready? Now, this now is the go next in set, here. yep, we're going to take now the rest of the water. Oh, I need to And we're going to go ahead on and put now. that in our pot. This is the water that carrots came in already. And we're going to. Let me do it, baby. Slowly pour that in, slowly, baby. Very slowly. Yes. Remember now, you want to be careful it doesn't pop. Okay. Very slowly. I got a spatula here. Let me get the uh, main. You want to get that out? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Now, how long are we going to have this to now cook? Now, that actually down? cooks for just about 10 minutes or so, because actually it's already made into a soup now. We're going to go ahead and turn left, put our last seasonings in. Go ahead and stir it around. Here okay. you go. And turn that fire down. It's too high. Okay. And now we're going to add in, this is the fructose and also the uh, cayenne and... We're going to put in the lime juice lastly. This is what really makes it come to life. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, it's really smelly now. Yes. 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 And then lastly, we're going to slowly put in the lime juice. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. Don't turn. Don't stir too hard now. Oh, okay, baby. Okay. Now that's actually going to sit there for another good maybe 10 minutes or so on low. Mm -hmm. And then once we get done with that, you take that pretty mm -hmm. color, isn't it pretty color orange? Yes, it is. You put it into a nice bowl, and then you put some soy sour cream on top of it, a little bit of cilantro, and then you just have at it. But, you know, we got to go to that next recipe, which is another one of my favorites. Let's look at that particular recipe. Cucumber dressing. It calls for one small cucumber peeled, seeded, and grated. One cup of Morinu tofu, soft. One teaspoon of fresh dill weed. Three garlic cloves, pressed. One half of a lemon, that's juice only, and sea salt to taste. Now this is another simple okay. recipe, very, very mm -hmm. easy to do. Um, Curtis is gonna get that lemon ready to go into okay. this mixture. And one of the things I like about this one, Curtis, is that you have the cucumber, and as you already said, you can actually grate it. Um, I'm just taking the seeds out of it, okay? okay. So I'm going to take out the seeds. Whoa. Yeah. I like this contraption right here. I know you That's why I gave that to you. Yeah, I love it. Uh, pour right into the blender, honey? Not yet, not yet. Oh, not yet? Not yet. Okay. Okay. And I got seeds everywhere, which is a good thing. I think. Well, you're cooking. I mean, you know, <laughs> gotta have a mess okay. sometimes. Okay. Now, you know, we got that Mori New tofu that we're putting in there. I'm gonna just chop that up a little bit. Okay, I'll finish with my lemon. Okay, we're gonna put that in. Let's go ahead and put the Mori New in first. Oh, okay. Okay. I just, I just hear that. No. Uh, no. See, the camera would not have picked that up, honey. It would not have known. <laughs> it would say, what happened to that other piece? Because it's not quite what it's supposed to be, okay. all right? Not yet, not oh, yet, not, not yet. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead on and put in the cucumber, parts of this cucumber. You can actually grate it up, but you know that's a lot of work. Let's just go ahead on and take it, big pieces, lots of water in it. We're gonna go ahead oh. on and just. So tofu is gonna form at the base? Yeah, and guess what? In normal, mm -hmm. in the normal um, Italian, I mean, a normal Indian cuisine, um, they're using uh, cream, sour cream. 
oh, or, okay. okay, a sour cream base or some kind of a yogurt base. So we got to assimilate that with the tofu. All right. Let's turn it on and see what happens. I think we might have to put that lemon juice on on in there. Go ahead and put the lemon juice in. Okay. Go ahead and put the lemon juice in. Way down there. Is that the whole, is that the whole lemon or what? Yes, it is. All right. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, no. Super duper, super duper. Okay. Okay. All righty. Okay. okay. All right. Now, we are going to take a break. All right. And you have got to see the end of this program. Stay by. Would you like to learn more about preparing healthful vegetarian dishes? If so, then you want to be sure to order our free Abundant Living resource sheet. It contains useful information about product and cookbooks that will help you to learn more about this natural way of cooking. Along with your order, we would also like to include a free copy of the booklet, The Natural Way to Keep in Shape. This 20-page booklet is filled with tips that will help you to develop a total lifestyle approach to health. To receive both the Abundant Living resource sheet and The Natural Way to Keep in Shape, Call us at 800-752-3226 during regular business hours. Call and ask for this special offer today. Well, we have finished okay. everything. Everything looks good, smells good. Can't wait for the show to be I over. I think it tastes good, too. Let's look exactly what we did today, okay. Curtis. We did the curry potato turnovers. Yes, nice feeling inside. We did a scrumptious carrot soup. Mm. And Smells we ended good. with a cucumber dressing. Mm, and that mm, cucumber mm. dressing can be eaten with uh, a lot of uh, fresh vegetables. Okay, you nice know? setting here. And uh, I just compliment you on this uh, layout here, this mm. rug, or what do you call this? Tablecloth? Table yes, yeah. okay. My sister gave it to me. Oh, she did? All Absolutely. Right. Viola, yes. But perfect with this show. Sure does. Now, can we taste some of this or Well, I want, I want, you know, I was going to, uh, this whole thing was the inside of the pocket of looking at uh, what happened after the turnover. Uh, oh, okay. Turnover, See, on the inside, yeah. Oh, nice and okay. got the peas, the carrots, and, uh, well, and the potatoes inside. I guess it's time to close. Good okay. show. Good program. Good well, show. John 10, 10, Jesus said I come, that they might have life and have, have it, it more abundantly. abundantly.